KP5L is the latest model we just released. Today we will show you how to manual bed leveling for it. First, we recommend preheating the printer. So the result will be more precise. Set the nozzle temperature as 210 degrees. The bed temperature is 60 degrees. Then wait for the temperature to reach. Use some wet wipes to clean the nozzle. Don't stay too long, or your hand could get burned. A clean nozzle helps you get precise results, too. That's it. Let's go next step. Tight the four knobs a little bit. In case the nozzle is too close to the bed. You can also adjust the limit switch position. Especially when you are using a PEI. The default position is in the middle. Loose the screws, then lower or higher its position. Lower it if the nozzle is too far from the bed. Higher it if it is too close. Then tighten the screws to fix it. Alright, we are done. Click point 1. Then the printer will home all the XYZ axis. After that, it stops at point 1. Use a paper. Put it below the nozzle. Turn the knobs clockwise or counterclockwise. Slide the paper. Once you feel a little scratch when the paper slides smoothly. The nozzle distance is fine. Click point 2. Put the paper on the new position. Do the same as the last point. Click point 3. The paper follows. Do the same thing. The scratch feeling is the key. Click the point 4. Put the paper on the new position. Slide the paper and do the same thing. Next, click point 5. Put the paper below the nozzle and slide it. You should be able to slide it smoothly. Then lift the print head for the next step. 120 millimeters should be fine. Use a tie to attach a PTFE tube to the print head cable. Cut the tie. Use another PTFE tube to lead the filament. Put the filament into the tube. Then insert the filament through the filament sensor. After that, put it into the second PTFE tube. The tube leads filament to the extruder. Hold the switch and insert the filament into the extruder. Then push it all the way to the bottom. The filament should start melting and come out. You are all set. Take the released filament away. Choose a file and start to print. The print should be fine. If not, just do the above steps again. More tutorials for KP5L are coming. For any questions please leave comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So that you will be notified once we update it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.